Hello and welcome to the 2018 Middle East Regional Conference. I'm joined today by Eric Modav, who is the Chief Operating Officer at Arab Bank. Eric, thank you for joining me. Good morning. Um, this is the first day of the Middle East Regional Conference, and you were on the opening panel on the, the future of payments in the Middle East. Um, what for you were the big takeaways from that discussion? I think we started talking about um, local payments, domestic payments, and the evolution towards instant payments. And uh, we were making an analogy to what happened in Europe, actually, about 10 years ago. I mean, faster payment came up in the UK in 2007. It took almost 10 years to bring the same technology in the Middle East. So what happened in, 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 in between is the fact that, first of all, everyone wants to use, of course, mobile phone as a way to make payments. But the second part is the emergence of wallets. Wallets have been able to now connect customers to merchants and other parties in a very simple way. And this is actually uh, at times a closed ecosystem. It's not always regulated. So uh, faster payment technology has actually addressed one of the gaps in the market to actually now make more relevance for the banks and the customers to actually make instant payments. Now the question then becomes why that as well? It's because the, the real oil in the payment industry is actually data. I don't really make money out of small value payments. I make money if I understand who you are, why you're making payments, and I can build some patterns that I can use in the future for cross-sale opportunities, whether it's for insurance, for holidays, for connecting you to my actual merchant and partner ecosystem. So that's, that's one of the big takeaways. Okay, so that data story is something which is quite interesting here in, in the Middle East then. So is that really shaping uh, sort of this instant payments evolution in, in the region? I do believe so, and, and this is uh, w one of the, the, I think, necessities now to have more standardization also on what we call the payment rails that exist domestically. You know it goes from checks to RTGS to ACH, now you have some wallets, and of course you have the new faster payment capabilities. Now, what is important is create common rails so that all the banks can connect with standards and everyone can actually enjoy the same payment ecosystem. What will make the difference is on the digital interaction with the customer. How do you contextualize a payment transaction where you start adding value. And then you can think of building loyalty schemes on the side, creating some membership and partnership with, again, uh, you know, digital partner ecosystem. API will actually be now uh, a very important connector for bank to allow actually the integration of not just your partners, but also fintech. Uh, startups who want to innovate in the payment space and want to actually give new ideas on your APIs in order to enrich the digital proposition. That's actually what we've seen in Europe recently with PSD2 implementation. Okay, now all of these changes, including sort of the input of fintechs and so on, are having implications for uh, sort of legacy infrastructure in some of the banks. And you talked about this on stage today, Eric. What does that mean? in terms of the way how the, how the banks can move forward with their legacy infrastructure in place? Banks have built their legacy platforms, including the, 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 the piping into the treasury system, the risk management platforms, their own legacy payment capabilities. So changing all of that in one go is very complex. What we see happening more in, is now, let's move some of the payment processing on the side, creating more of a payment hub, which I call the southbound payment capability, so that we can receive payment uh, process them in a, in a canonical way, in a standardized way, and then flush them through the pipes. But the more important part is now the northbound. The northbound will allow you to connect from many channels, uh, whether it's mobile, whether it's IOTs, whether it's even from a merchant, uh, and allow basically through API again to call the right payment gateway that you want to connect with in order to execute your transaction. And, and this is actually what will make a huge difference in the payment infrastructure of banks in the coming years. Okay, well, Eric, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.